All right, welcome back to LearnWire, guys. So I'm doing a Longtail Pro update. I feel like I owe it to you guys, and this is what separates me and um, LearnWire and my reviews from other reviewers that are just going to praise product all the time in order to make affiliate commissions. I can tell you that right, away, right off the bat that Longtail Pro, I have made commissions on this uh, review right here. I genuinely uh, felt like this was a great tool. It's been around for 11 years. I was extremely excited when I saw that it It was actually one of you that um, commented that I learned that it was on uh, AppSumo. I immediately went and purchased Tier 5, spent $500 on the tool, and it was semi-working while I did my review, and I was uh, kind of told myself I'm going to be very patient uh, over the next several days and kind of monitor um, AppSumo, uh, all the questions and reviews coming in. And I mean, like we come over here to AppSumo, you're going to see that it's just, they're having a really brutal launch. Uh, Longtail Pro is not doing good. And if I'm not mistaken, I thought that there was actually, I thought I saw 27 reviews. I don't know why. Some of them, man, I, I, I just, I feel like some of them were already taken away. I thought it was like 27 or 28 reviews when I, checked yesterday and this is October 17th where I'm making this video but we're seeing 21 reviews so I don't really know why some of them are wiped out some things are a little concerning I'm not going to really go into that in this video about um, AppSumo I'm hoping that they're completely uh, transparent and honest and that they're not doing anything black hat as far as like removing people's reviews and things like that and I'm not claiming that they are but um, certainly the Longtail Pro is not having a good start on the platform. They're at about 2.1, maybe 2.2 if I'm being, uh, you know, generous uh, out of five, right? So they're, they're not even getting a 50%. They're not even getting an, uh, you know, a, an F. They're getting like a really low F if you were going to put it on a, like a grade scale. Um, so two tacos, this does rarely happens on AppSumo, even with bad software, they usually can pull a three star or higher, but we're at 21 reviews. You can welcome to go and check all those out. I'm going to go over what my review is um, on this channel to give you guys some updates of what's going on with the with the tool. Okay. I'm logged in right here and I'm going to show you, but I just wanted to show you, well, we'll come back to this, right? Why I started off with the YouTube channel over here. I'm going to go over here and look at analytics. I mean, you're looking at 1400 views. I don't get a lot of views on these uh, videos, right? This is a, a small niche where everybody is very um, interested in software. And that's why that's what I focus on on LearnWire, right? But some of these, when, they, when it gets over a thousand views, that's pretty good for my channel. This one, you know, is kind of like a set of what you would call micro or semi viral. Uh, it, it, in relativity to my uh, software, to my channel, right? Um, so 1400 views is pretty good for my channel. And, you know, <laughs> got 45 likes. People really liked this video. Now, here's what a normal uh, mo, like I would say 95% of people that are doing these reviews would do. You, you, when they've discovered that the tool is no good and they're going to go get a refund on the tool, um, I think you guys know where I'm going. Um, but the, I mean, it would be in my best interest in my business to make more money. Right. And so I should just leave this video up. Right. And people go and type in long tail pro it's ranked in the top three or four right now. People go and find this and, uh, they're going to go and end up purchasing the tool and guess what? They're going to have a horrible experience after they purchase the tool. And this is what has, you know, I've given it some time. I think it's been almost a week. And I've ch just checked the tool. I'm going to show you guys right now. The tool doesn't work at all. It's uh, it's gotten worse from since my review. The tool I can't even get it to pull up keywords at all. And so this is where you know I've gone back and forth. Do I give it more time? I, I could give it up to three months. And but I'm just not feeling good about this because I don't want to make sales over the next three months. However long they're going to be on AppSumo, I don't want to continue making sales and then finally say like, oh yeah, guys, I'm not going to keep the tool. <clears throat> Um, you know, I just don't know I'd, if I go and get a, re, uh, a refund on a tool because the tool is not good um, for, uh, you know, technicality purposes, the tool is not good enough for me to keep, then I'm, you, you guys better believe I'm going to let you guys know. I believe in integrity and honesty on this channel. And that's the number one thing 
that I will do. So if I'm going to go get my $500 refund on AppSumo, you better believe I'm going to do something and address this right here. I don't want to go bash Longtail Pro. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to bash Longtail Pro. I think that they're going to probably work out the kinks and work everything out. Um, I could keep my, um, I could keep my, my access, right? Uh, my tier five access and just see what happens. But um, you're going to see what the kickers are, what, what really pushes me over the edge. And it's things like customer support. You know, if the tool's not technically working, I could, I can agree with having patience and they'll fix the tool and things like that. But a combination of a bunch of things going on is, um, is why I'm making this decision to go and get this refund. And it, and it kind of it pains me because I wanted to keep this tool. I want to keep this tool. Um, but it's just not something that <laughs> they're just not doing good. Okay. So I'm going to come back to this and we're going to actually take this video off and I'm going to show you how much money I've made. The channel has made from this, this video and then I've made sales on AppSumo and stuff too. So I'm just going to be removing a video that is, I'm, is making me money and is profitable just to show you guys that I'm not going to recommend a tool to you of what I, when I do give it kind of a stamp of approval, it does mean that the, the tool checks out and it is good. And if it's a terrible tool or there's something majorly going on with the tool, I'm going to tell you. And that's just kind of why I think that that's why you guys come back and watch my channel is that you're going to go and find um, other people that are just going to give you, um, you know, a, a, just a, an a average review. And it's usually going to glorify or just tell you all the good things about a software, but they're not going to actually show you the hiccups when it actually doesn't work and so forth. So let's go and let me show you the tool a little bit. <clears throat> and I've actually used this in multiple browsers. Okay. So I've learned my lesson on that. I will go and pull this up in multiple browsers. We're in the keyword research section right here. And you can see I've tried, I've tried different things. I've tried to get some keywords. Um, if I come in over to here and go to test, you can see I tried to put how to Microsoft. I uh, like right over here. I said how to repair a sink. I mean, that's a really broad keyword, probably searched a hundred thousand times a month. And, um, you know, I'm going to just say retrieve generating keyword ideas. And then this is what happens. Data wasn't available for how to repair a sink. In most cases, this is because Google does not provide search volume data for those keywords. Try shortening. Okay, so that is what you're saying. How to repair a sink has no search volume. Well, let's just go for fun. I'm going to go into key search, how to repair a sink. And push enter and we're, we're going to see. So this has a hundred volume, a hundred search volume. Okay, let's just go with an extremely how to lose weight. Let's just see what this uh, pulls up for us. So 300,000 times this is searched per month. I'm going to go back in here. How to lose weight. Enter. Retrieve. So it's pulling. It looks like it's going to do something for how to lose weight. Um, but for keywords that it like have a hundred search volume, it's not, it's not working for us. Right. So it's going to pull up some keywords. And it's pulling up some right here. It didn't pull up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So it pulled up 10 keywords. We asked for it to pull up 20. This is one of the most well known topics on the entire web, and it couldn't even pull up 20 suggested topics for us. Uh, it's working on the KC. I'm surprised that it got these because I've been using this tool for a week and I'm not able to get these KC scores to work. So uh, I'm going to go and dive into one of these real quick and just see. Um, I've also looked into here and then I've done some comparisons with the actual results over here. So I am kind of looking through here. I added one with a plus 20 here as well. So for really broad keywords, it works decently. Okay. Um, but then you can see, I mean, I've just been sitting here for like three or four minutes and the KC score is not updating, right? It's not updating for these right over here. Um, some other things. Let's go and see if we can find like a competitor in here, right? So I was trying, let's just go and let's grab copy link and just throw something in here. No, that's not it. Sorry guys. Let's come in here to competitor keywords and throw a website in and push retrieve. And let's see what ends up happening. I get finding competitors keywords. 
You have either entered an incorrect URL or data is not present for this URL. Please try with another URL. You saw that we literally copy and pasted with the HTTP. Very well fit. So let's just say verywellfit.com. Verywellfit.com. If I enter that in like that, we'll also try and it's still not working. So the competitor, and I've tried this several times today, uh, it's just not working. You can see the KC scores are still trying to update over here. Um, just not going to be a tool that is going to be useful for me, right? Not when I have other tools like Uber Suggest, Key Search, and COTD where I can get, uh, you know, hundreds of keywords uh, within minute or within seconds, actually. And um, and I'm actually, this, this tool's slowing me down, you know, and it's not working. So that's not working as well. Um, then we go into like SERP analysis. Okay. So then I just try to say, let's say like, um, let's just use how to make money online. One of the most well-known things that you can search for on the web as well. Let's see what it comes up with. Okay. So for how to make money online, um, surprisingly it actually worked, but I've tried several times before with different keywords didn't work. But we're going to see, I'll show you what it looks like when it's done running this analysis. This is what it's going to look like. It's going to tell you how many keyword searches uh, strong. These right here, what I've noticed is I just pulled up, uh, you know, the SERP results. I'm literally looking at the SERP results and it's not, it's not uh, spot on accurate. Uh, I found that key search is spot on, like literally rank rank number one in the software will show exactly rank number one in Google as well. But I'm seeing that these are all tossed around all over the place. And so it just doesn't seem as accurate as many other tools and as accurate as I would expect. Okay. Um, but we keep going and then here's where it starts getting even more disappointing. I come in here. This is disabled. I paid $500 for this software. This is still disabled. And if I go and show you what they're saying about this is that they've turned this on. They've talked about this several times. Let's go into here and go into, let's just go and look at reviews and we'll look at uh, rank tracker backlinks disabled rank tracker disabled. Uh, they haven't answered that back, but rank tracker is active on all AppSumo user accounts. Now rank tracker, right? So October 15th, Two days ago, they said rank tracker, and they've said this a million times. Like you're going to see that this is a common thing that they're going to be uh, talking about in here. Rank tracker activation on is slower than yesterday will res be resolved today. So that will be resolved today. And that was October 14th, right? So they've had multiple days to fix this. We go into questions. You're going to see even more about this problem. <laughs> yeah. I mean, just look at this. Could you tell us why you are on AppSumo, which with such a great product with long time business, but have sold people a dumbed down version and won't respond to right there. Boom. And did they answer this? No. And this was October 16th, right? So we're looking at like, they're not responding at all to people's inquiries over here. The, um, the backlinks and, um, backlink analysis and rank tracker are disabled. They said that they fixed it. It's not, Here's disabled right here. Backlink analysis come in here. Look, disabled, still on my account, October 17th. And I'm a tier five, $500 I gave them. And they have not allowed that on my, uh, on my account as well. And then you could see how pr pretty terrible the keyword research, the, all, the, the only reason why I bought this software anyways was the keyword research functionality. And I'm just, it's just not working for me. I'm going to go do another test for you guys real quick. Come in here. I just continue to get stuff like that, you know. Let's just say how to make money on Etsy and see what we can get over here. Retrieve. And then it, it's giving us how to make money on Facebook. How to make money posting ads on Facebook. Um, there's eBay right here. Facebook. I'm not getting anything about Etsy. There should be more than one keyword on the entire internet about, um, about Etsy. So not really getting it, but we have right over here. It's not giving us our KC score and we could just sit here and I could time this. It's just taking forever to get KC scores, not updating. This is not a tool that I could see myself using and feeling good about using, right? Because I feel like it's just wasting my time. So, um, again, this is, this is the number one reason why I bought the tool keyword research functionality.
It's uh, Casey score is not updating. This is actually working better than it has the last three days. Maybe, maybe it's the tip of the iceberg. Maybe they're going to change this and it's going to get better. But um, there's other reasons why this is just doesn't feel right. I put one of my websites in here and it doesn't get updated right here. Nothing's getting updated, right? So we're going to come over here. I'm going to go and show you what I wrote about this. Okay, guys, this is what I wrote about this. So let me zoom in real quick. This, I rarely leave reviews. You guys know I rarely leave reviews um, on the channel. Um, I mean, on AppSumo. Um, I don't like to use AppSumo to get traffic to YouTube. And a lot of reviewers do that, but I don't. But in this case, I feel like I need to give my honest review after buying the tool um, all, about a week ago. I put disappointed software doesn't work at all one week later. I'm a full-time AppSumo software reviewer. Many of you have seen my videos on my uh, channel, LearnWire. I, I'm known for doing completely honest reviews, even if that means that I don't make any affiliate commissions. When I, when I saw that uh, Longtail Pro was on AppSumo, I, all, I already knew of the software and immediately jumped on it at Tier 5. I was excited. Wow, could I really get a lifetime access to this tool that has been around for 11 years and has been known for being one of the best keyword research tools on the market. Well, my experience has been terrible. I've uh, gone through the first week after the purchase with a lot of patience. I've not been able to use the software at all. The software doesn't even do basic keyword research for me. I've tried in multiple web browsers to make sure that it wasn't just a Chrome thing. Nope, it just doesn't work. Fire, it doesn't work on Firefox either. I just did a keyword research for how to repair a sink and I got this error message. Doesn't, um, data wasn't available for how to repair a sync. When we just shown that it does have a lot of data on that in other tools. In most cases, this is because Google does not blah, blah, blah. Okay. So then we're at, um, I've tried, I've tried several broad, well known keywords and the software keeps giving errors. And I did do that before I made this video. It just, it was just not performing. Um, and then you guys saw the KC scores. I'm going to come back over here. The KC scores are still moving right here. So it's, 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 it's done. It's not going to give us these KC scores. And many, many times after waiting for an hour, these will end up just showing up blank and it won't complete the job, right? So it's not even doing its basic functionality of keyword research correctly. Um, so, and I noticed the top 10 results, you know, not being accurate. Um, so I said something is majorly wrong with this software and the new ownership. That's another thing, guys. Once I found out that it actually was, I didn't know that it was under new membership when I made my review video, but I do know now that it's under new, um, that, uh, what is the guy's name? Like if you come over here, I, I did my research, um, who owns Longtail Pro? Um, it was Spencer Hawes from Niche Pursuits. He had it for the, for a decade. Obviously he just sold this to someone and it's, uh, <laughs> it's, it's terrible what they're doing to the tool. They're completely destroying the tool. Um, that it, it is, it was fishy. I did feel, um, like it was really strange to see this tool. This would be like Ahrefs or SEMrush coming to AppSumo. It would raise questions for sure. So the final kicker for me guys. Okay is uh, the communications and support. If they were spot on with that uh, and they actually answered uh, any of my inquiries with an honest answer, uh, then I would give them the, the chance and the benefit of a doubt and I would be willing to wait for them to fix the tool. But for me, communication and support is the final, um, you know, the final straw. I placed a ticket the day I purchased the software. Actually, I placed two tickets and never got a response back. I also placed my concerns here on AppSumo under questions section and waited days for them to reply to one of my comments. And when I saw them do blanket responses, basically giving all questions and uh, users the same canned response, like we turned it back on, we turned, you know, we turned back a... Uh, we turned the backlinks checker on. We turned uh, rank tracking on. Uh, I just showed you right now. It's not updated. It, 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 that's a lie, actually. And you lied to uh, dozens of people. Basically giving all questions and users the same canned response um, and not getting back to my tickets. And most of all, the software not working at all. This is why I will be getting a refund. So I'm going to go ahead and sum all this up for you guys. Main reasons I'm getting a refund on my Tier 5 $500 purchase is no support, no communication, can responses for customer support, not addressing or actually reading people's issues, stating on the AppSumo. KC score does not work in any browser I tried. Competitor keywords tool didn't work at all. Got error messages for this tool. SERP 
analysis doesn't work at all, blank results, no data, Ring Tracker is disabled on 10.17, even after Longtail su uh, Pro support has stated probably 100 times that they turned it back on days ago. Backlink analysis is still disabled for my $500 account. Too funny. What did I pay for? Site audit doesn't work at all. This is extremely thorough. I'm not even being hard. I'm, I'm not even being harsh, right? I'm j I showed you guys. I'm being completely honest. I'm not being harsh. I... Uh, at a, there was a time where I loved this tool and I didn't pay. F I, the only reason why I didn't get the tool is because I didn't want to pay um, monthly for the tool, just like many of you. And that's why it was so exciting when they came to AppSumo and I was all in. But it's just been a terrible, terrible experience. Um, summary, I review and use tools full time. I almost never leave actual reviews on AppSumo. It is not my model to do this. People find me on YouTube to see my honest reviews. I usually have great experiences with these tools. This long tail pro experience um, is by far the worst experience I have had. So we'll see. We'll come back, guys. We'll see if this actually gets uh, accepted and moderated. I think that it brought value. It was a 100% honest review of somebody that has actually purchased the tool um, many days ago, right? Many days ago. Um, I don't know what this means, but. March 2nd. Is that when I joined or something? That's kind of weird. Oh, maybe that's when I joined. Yeah. Okay. So, you know, I brought value. I'm telling you why I'm getting a refund, why I had a bad experience. Uh, you guys know I'm not really a picky person. I mean, I practiced patience for a week. Um, I really wanted to keep this tool and it would benefit the heck out of me to just keep this tool and be continue being patient. But I'm not going to do that. I don't feel like I want to keep this tool. I have plenty of other tools that I can use. And I, and, and I don't really want to go on this new ownership ride with Longtail Pro for them uh, and give them $500 to see if they can figure out how to uh, fix their tool. So I'm going to go ahead and call this um, like it is. Um, call a spade a spade. This is just not a worthy software. I could, and I can't leave this up because when people go and type in Longtail Pro and they see my review, I could impact them actually buying this going forward. So I'm not going to, I can't leave my review video up because I, for the most part, gave it a good review and said, yeah, go, go, go pick it up. I said, it, get it now, actually. So if I go into here to analytics and show you guys, and we go into, you're going to see, I made almost $50 um, just from ad revenue on this video, right? So I made just a 50 bucks just having this video up on YouTube, not even from, and then I made sales. I could show you that too. I've probably made a few hundred bucks from this video being up and I'm going to go ahead and go back and I'm going to unpublish this video. I'm going to come in here, select right here, and we're going to go, let's see, more actions. I can delete it or I think I can just make it un unpublish it. For now, I, I, I might come back and delete it, but for now I'm unlisting this. This means that it won't be able to be found. I won't be making any more money on this and so forth, right? So just unpublished that. So it'll take it a minute for this to actually, it might take a few hours for this to completely remove from the channel. I'll check back in a day. If this actually doesn't go away, then I'll just go in there and I'll delete it. I want to just keep it just because it does have really good stats um, in case something weird happens where I want to put my video back up. Right now I'm taking it down for the time being. Um, and like I said, if it, if it doesn't go, if it, for some reason it keeps staying ranked, then I'll just go ahead and delete the video. But uh, you'll see all these other people up here there. They have no, there's no reason for like this guy did a review two days ago. There's no reason for him to go and actually, he's not, ha he's not having a good experience with the tool. I guarantee it. There's no way this guy's having a good experience with this tool. It's not even working for me. I just showed it, proved it to you. And, but, but they just do a nice 11 minute review and they are going to make money off this, um, this uh, software. Right. And I can't do that to you guys. It's, I just, I take a different approach and, um, I have integrity and I'm not going to just leave this up and soak, um, more commissions off of this. So, um, if you guys want to continue to be patient, some of you will know, know of long tail pro like me and you're willing to, um, you know, maybe you only went in on tier one or tier two, maybe you're just going to be patient. And I think that that's okay. That's an okay move to do that. For me, I spent $500 on it, um, and the support is the tipping point for me. They, they, it doesn't seem like they care uh, about the software or the customers, and so that's why I'm going to be um, 
getting a, a full refund. So um, I'm going to be removing this. You guys saw that actually. So this move video should be going away. And these people that, um, you know, are can just continue um, getting people to go and, and they think the software is great and stuff. But um, so yeah, I have it on, under unlisted, so it should be gone. So anyway, that's my uh, update, guys. That is the review. Um, that is my review. Um, hopefully this gets published. And you never know. Um, I, I gotta just my fingers crossed, um, that this is an extremely in-depth, honest review where this could really impact, um, people buying. And if that's the case, like, I don't know. Are they better things? A lot of things could change. If they don't publish my review right here, then I, you know, we'll see what happens. I am not going to say anything else, but this, um, they better publish this review. AppSumo better publish this review. All right, guys, let me know if you made it all the way into the video. You guys know I like when you guys do that because that means you guys watch this 25 minute video, 20, 25 minute video. Um, also leave comments below. What do you think? Uh, am I making the right move or am I pulling the trigger too early on getting a refund? Um, should I be, um, should I just keep my account, um, and, and wait and be patient for a month to see if they fix everything? Um, let me go, let me know guys what you guys um, think about um, all the about the long tail pro updates. All right thanks guys.